Hello everyone and welcome, this is Revamp Gaming and in today's video I'm going to be telling you everything that has been confirmed within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare from a leak that has been circling around on the internet. Now guys, I've got the basics which are game modes, weapons, score streaks and multiplayer map to talk about with you guys. And I'm not going to go into too much detail, if you want to look at them in detail then you'll go and check out the two links that are down below in the description where it covers everything on Advanced Warfare. But just before we do start, guys, I want to say a big thank you to you for letting me reach over 1,100 views on YouTube. And it is a great milestone to achieve. Now, all we need to do is reach my small milestone of 100 subscribers. So, guys, if you do want to do that and sub to me, then that would be great and greatly appreciated. Because it would show your support so, so much. So, guys, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing that we're going to look at is game modes and I do not have a complete list of all the core game modes but the uh, major ones really are Team Deathmatch, Domination, Hardpoint my favourite and a new one that I think is called Uplink. I'm not really sure what that entails but it does sound pretty new and uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent playlist to uh, take part in. So the hardcore game modes consist of Team Deathmatch, Kill Confirmed, domination and search and destroy so it's just pretty basic game modes uh, and playlists that we've been seeing in previous call of duties that are still in there and i actually think that's a good thing uh, and i hope that they will carry on within future call of duties as well so then what we're going to be looking at now is the weapon list and we're going to start off with the assault rifles so let's get straight into them so the first one is the bal 27 which we've seen a lot of in the gameplay trailers and it does look like a really good gun it's a multi-purpose weapon so i cannot wait to uh, get a try of that as well uh, the AK-12, which has been taken from Call of Duty Ghosts. Third, the ARX-160, which again has been taken from Call of Duty Ghosts. The IMR and the MK-14. So now guys, moving on to SMGs, we have the KF-5, the MP-11, the ASM-1, the SN-6, the SAC-3 and the MR-9. So guys, there are only six SMGs within that uh, list and... They all seem pretty decent. Uh, I've not seen pictures of them yet, but yeah, they do sound pretty good. So let's move on to shotguns, and we only have three in this category, which are the TAC-19, which sounds like the KSG, the S-12, which sounds like the S-12 from Black Ops 2, and the Bulldog, which is the Bulldog from Call of Duty Ghosts. So next we're going to move on to the LMGs, and here we have the EMI, which is actually the laser LMG, which is featured within the uh, Advanced Warfare multiplayer trailer. The Pi Taek, I think it's pronounced, which is another multi-purpose LMG. The XMG, the EMP3, and the Emili, which again is taken from Call of Duty Ghosts. So guys, next we're going to move on to the snipers, and there's only four snipers in this uh, category. The first one is the Lynx, taken again from Call of Duty Ghost. The Moors Sniper, the NA45, and the Atlas 20mm. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the attachments, which is quite a lengthy list. So I'm just going to try and get it through as fast as possible, guys, without much detail at all. So let's get started on that. So first off, we have the red dot site, which is a pretty basic site that we've seen in many Call of Duties. We've got a hybrid site, which we've seen in many Call of Duties as well. The autofocus, which looks kind of new, and the target enhancer, which does look kind of new, but kind of reminds me of the target finder from Black Ops 2. The thermal site, which is standard. ACOG scope, which is standard. The laser sight, which is making a return from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Foregrip, which is uh, standard. A stock, which is standard. And a tracker, which is new, but also sounds like the tracker sight from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 as well. Extended mags and suppressors, they're stock. And the new parabolic microphone, which is a new attachment that we've never seen within Call of Duty before. The quick draw grip attachment and the grenade launcher attachment. So some of them guys are fairly similar and the same to previous Call of Duties and some of them are quite new and I actually look forward to seeing what they are and what they entail and hold. So next guys we're going to be moving on to the score streaks um, and these actually sound really good and really futuristic to fit with the game obviously. So let's get straight into them. So first off we've got the recon aerial recon drone, then the UAV which is pretty standard and normal from ma uh, many other Call of Duties. The Aerial Assault Drone, the Orbital Care Package, the Remote Turret, which is making a return from Modern Warfare 3, the System Hack, the XS-1 Vulcan, the Missile Strike, Bombing Run, the XS-1 Goliath, Warbird, and the Paladin. Now, guys, I have seen pictures of these score streaks, and 
I can say that they look absolutely monstrous and destructive. These look like some of the best score streaks from all of the Call of Duties ever made. And I'm hoping that they're going to actually deliver what I'm expecting them uh, to deliver, which is just general destruction to the game. I just hope they, they sound amazing and I hope they are exactly what they sound like. So, guys, now we're going to move into the final uh, category, which is the 14 multiplayer maps within Advanced Warfare. So, guys, if you like I said if, at the beginning, if you want to go and check these out, then two links will be in the description. So, you can go and check them all out there. And I'm sure they'll have pictures like that on Google Images as well if you type in the name of the map. So, let's get straight into this. So, these 14, 14 multiplayer map names are Ascend, Biolab, Comeback, Defender, Detroit, Green Band, Horizon, Instinct, Recovery, Retreat, Riot, Solar, Terrace, and for the Atlas and uh, for the Atlas Day Zero Edition map, Gorge, which is the Call of Duty Four Mod Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare Pipeline remake. So, guys, I never actually did get a chance to play Call of Duty Four, um, so I'm actually hoping that this map's quite good, and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look on YouTube and compare it to this map, see how it is in terms of what's been added, what's been taken away. But guys, these maps sound amazing. Everything within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare sounds amazing. And if you've seen the trailer, then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is set to be the best Call of Duty to date. And guys, I know this has been said within many, many other Call of Duties. It was said about Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Call of Duty Ghost. Now, Call of Duty Ghost was a sort of disappointment, but it sort of wasn't. There was many things that were good about the game but bad about the game there was a lot of ideas going into it but from the looks of things guys i am thinking that advanced warfare is going to be the best cod to date so guys i actually want to know what you think as well if you think call of duty advanced warfare is going to be great and it's the best one to date then go ahead and leave a comment in the description if you don't think it is say why so guys i hope you did like the video uh, if you did please uh, leave a rating and also hit that subscribe button as it does motivate me to make more grand theft auto 5 and call of duty ghosts and call of duty advanced warfare content so guys this is Revamp Gaming. I hope you did like the video. Also, go and follow me on Facebook and Twitter because there are my links and all my videos will be posted there as soon as they are released and uploaded. But guys, my name is Revamp Gaming. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll leave you to watch the rest of the gameplay. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.